They don't support the Rage Against the War Machine rally because they will never organize with those deplorables over there, the libertarians over there. But they also don't organize with socialist alternatives. So they don't organize with socialists. They don't organize with libertarians. Who do they organize with? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you guys have anything you want to add today? We get to some stories. Not, I'll let Jimmy yeah. chime in on that one. Go ahead. <laughs> No, I don't see them organizing to do shit except the last. Uh, uh, I mean, they'll do a fake uh, sleep in on the Capitol steps to pretend to get moratorium on rent, but they, they won't actually do something when it actually counts. And uh, yeah, it's amazing to see a lot of people use, you know, use their anti-war organizations like like I was really disappointed in Code Pink that the. Yeah. Uh, they they mm -hmm. proved that uh, they weren't really serious about. I mean, as an organization, certain individuals, you know. I mean, uh, Medea Benjamin actually showed up to the rally and tweeted about it, and yeah, um, sure. and and tweeted out, uh, you know, uh, videos and pictures from the rally. Uh, but co you know, I mean, you can't be serious about ending a war. You know, it's like if if the fireman shows up at your house, right? It's like you got a hose, we got a fire. We're going to talk about all the rest of that shit later, yeah. you know. And uh, they got they got a nuclear weapon. We got fucking capitalist maniacs provoking a a, a nuclear two nuclear powers at once. Uh, let's get a let's get a hose. You got a hose? Let's do it, and we'll talk about all that other shit later. And so that's what you know. That's how you organized against. That's how Christian Smalls organized against Amazon, right? You got to do it that way. It's like, hey, you you want to be with me against the man? All right, that's all I need to know. Let's be with you're with me for each other, and we're our economic. And that's why that that's the high, and I'm not saying. Again, I'm not saying that racism uh, isn't a problem. I'm not saying that uh, anti-LGBTQ sentiment that we don't need to stick up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the oh, the hyper focus on those things alone is because the Democratic Party has abandoned you economically. And so that and, and in lieu of doing that, they've got to way ramp up that other stuff. They have to talk about abortion, even though they mm -hmm. won't codify into law when they have a chance because that's the kind of stuff they have to run on so that's and that's why they have to keep us hating half the country as if they half the country that uh, elected that uh elected barack obama twice somehow got racist or, or something more racist and it's like uh that's because that's what they want to focus on right and i don't think because in my lifetime the country has gotten a lot less racist i lived through the election of harold washington in chicago and it's exactly it's the exact thing. It's the more interaction you have with other people, the 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 more you break down your stupid ideas about each other. And Harold Washington, I came from the south side of Chicago, southwest side, super racist. Um, and they were super Democrat. And then Harold Washington uh, won the nomination to be the mayor of Chicago. And all of a sudden, all those Democrats, fucking Democrats, voted for a Republican, right? But not enough of them but most of them, and that, but that wasn't enough to win. And so Harold Washington became the first black mayor of Chicago and people were scared to death. Oh my God, the blacks are gonna take over. They're gonna take over. And so people in my neighborhood were scared. But, and I was always, you know, the opposite. I was always like, yeah, I was always a big, uh, I campaigned for Jesse Jackson and shit like that, right? I was, I was, you know, just because I, I think I always have an anti-authoritarian in me and to whoever was the most, authoritarian i would go towards right and so and i was against all that racism stuff but but i i noticed in my own neighborhood that by the end of uh, harold washington being mayor for a couple of years and he actually accomplished things like he got the snow sh uh, plowed and he got the garbage picked up and he got uh, other things taken care of in this in the city that people wanted that out of their government and things actually got a little better and people actually acknowledged it like white rape people who were afraid of them people who were racist and then they're like yeah you know what uh we were afraid but it wasn't so bad and he actually got things done and he was a democrat and blah 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 and it was so um they abandoned working people and they want to fucking hyper make they want to make people hate each other because of race mm -hmm. People who claim to be fighting it, they love it, right? Just like the Democrats love that they lost abortion because now they got something to run on. They're yeah. exactly the same. They serve exactly the same people. They're crushing the exact same workers. It doesn't matter if it was Joe Biden or Donald Trump. They both would have crushed that fucking railroad strike. You and I know it. Yep. 
And so that's the real thing. And they don't want you to talk about that. They want you to talk about uh, you know, uh, LGBTQ and bathrooms and, and gender affirming surgery and all that. They want you to focus on every other they, thing. They hurt our movement so much. They actually hurt our movement so much, Jimmy, because we covered this on Nick and CJ before. If you ask the black community what they care about, they don't care about all this like uh, individual racism that goes on. They care more about structural racism. And in this poll that was done, they said black people most, they, we don't care if you had this ignorant beliefs. To be honest, we assume you guys do <laughs> and to prove it otherwise. We just care about how the system is ran. So in these polls, black people say they want to focus more on structural racism. Then when you ask white people, Latinos and other people, they don't focus on structural racism. They just care about doing nonsense virtual signal stuff. And that's where I stand. And this is And this is what annoys me about these white saviors on the boutique left who, who want us to not associate with certain people because this person's a racist, this person's a racist. Okay, you, sir and ma'am, who voted for Jim Crow Joe, what gives, <laughs> you, what gives you the benefit of the doubt? And I, and I know that made people uncomfortable, but I, I, I live on a prove me, prove me basis. I kind of assume it's prove, proven otherwise. If you show that you want to stand in solidarity with me for health care and in the wars, Fighting for stuff that benefit my community, I assume you're on the good right side. If you're voting for Jim Crow Joe and Democrats and attacking grassroots action, <laughs> guess what I'm gonna assume about you? You have no moral high ground over the rednecks who I live next to. I live in Missouri, guys. I have a mix of white liberals and white conservatives. I have a good poll on this. And the people who are usually the most rude, the most racist in my time are white liberals. And that is what get me blocked when I say that, when I burst that bubble, because it's real.